Act- Activision Blizzard, the uh, publisher behind beloved titles such as Warcraft, Overwatch, and uh, Call of Duty, when confronted with the shareholder proposal for the company to interview at least one diverse candidate for each position, responded with a statement, implementing a policy that would extend such an approach to all hiring decisions amounts to an unworkable encroachment on the company's ability to run its business and compete for talent in a highly competitive, fast-moving market. And an attorney for the publisher went on to describe the proposal as micromanagement to the highest degree. Um, so with, what this says for those that haven't distilled it Activision Blizzard is so fucking racist they will not even entertain the fucking notion of in, and not, not, of not hiring of even interviewing a single diverse person like it, this is Activision Blizzard like there are hundreds hundreds thousands millions whatever people fucking applying for the job and you, you won't even take one person out of that pile that's from a diverse background, whether it's based on race, or orientation, whatever, anything like that. You won't even fucking humor them with an interview, not even a phone. That's how fucking racist Activision Blizzard is. There, there's no fucking excuse for that. And like they have the fucking when they say like, oh, it's going to strain our resources. Fuck that. Fuck you. I don't know if I left anything there to discuss, but go for it. No, honestly, um, you uh, tracks. I, I think Blizzard in particular just fundamentally is not the same fucking, um, like like even on the development front, it's not the same fucking studio. It's not the same fucking management. It is a completely different entity, especially since uh, they combine with Activision. It's it is it's incredibly telling that all of the and I again wrong person to talk. I have a World of Warcraft tattoo. I shouldn't be talking in this whatsoever, but um, the company started to definitely change, and you could notice that the changes started early when as soon as they were bought by Activision, all the original dudes left. I think it was Chris Metzen first. He retired. And then everyone started leaving after him, and then the, then, then this shit started happening. I 100% agree w- with you that Blizzard was never the same after Activision bought them. And honestly, I have no fucking clue why Activision bought them. Like, there was no point. Those two, like, those two, like, fucking Call of Duty and WoW, like, those two fucking developers don't seem to even go together. Like, I don't understand. It's it's always confused me. And it's always concerned the fuck out of me when you go on the Blizzard launcher and see World of Warcraft next to Call of Duty. Yeah, and uh, Ramen Nomad in uh, chat uh, says that, that they've read that Activision has been strong arming Blizzard to uh, get in line and basically lose their independence and just kind of assimilate into the larger uh, corporation, I guess, whatever you want to call it. See, that doesn't make any sense to me because of how much fucking money Blizzard makes from like WoW subs and that kind of thing. Like, I just wish that they would pull a fucking bungee and just buy themselves back. Like, it just doesn't but- make any sense to me. <laughs> It's probably just a tighter contract in that sense. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Um, any thoughts, Blin? Um, I'm pretty much just going to end up echoing what you said at the beginning, Jose. And I, I'm not as like attached or not attached, but I'm not as um, knowledgeable about Blizzard, Activision Blizzard or Blizzard pre Activision buyout. Um, I kind of really don't follow a lot of stuff with them specifically because of just like everything that keeps happening um, with the, mm-hmm. the Blitz Chung situation, whether it's this new like, oh, if us actually trying to seek like diverse candidates is not really going to actually improve things for us. Weird corporate speak bullshit. Um, I, I, I don't know. It, the situation sucks. Um, it's not going to get better until until big sweeping changes are made like top down and mm. with people like Bobby Kotick in charge of like Activision or is it he's Activision or EA I always get that fucking good. he's Activision uh, Activision yeah EA okay, is so- um Pete no that's all it's, it's, not it, anymore it, 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 it's bald dude it's not bald dude I don't think he is anymore no the, the guy looks like a dark elf five? no well, whoever it is, um, <laughs> Bobby Code with Bo- someone like Bobby Code Code can charge Andrew Activision. Wilson. That's not going to fucking change anytime soon. So, I, I honestly, if if I could pick, if I could, th- I can't remember exactly what they said, but um, I would say like if you can find a clip of what uh, uh Derek 
from SDGC said on Thursday night about this subject, I think they pretty much hit the nail on the head. Um, you can find their stuff on like YouTube and whatnot. Just Do you also SDGC think that YouTube. stuff sadly isn't going to change until Blizzard leaves? Because yeah, Blizzard one or the was, other. Yeah, I honestly don't think any of this is going to change until Blizzard ends up pulling a b- bungee and just saluting and then falling off and doing their own thing again because Bungie fucking shifted as soon as they bought themselves back. Like, I, shifted. So I, I feel like Blizzard's not going to change unless that happens too, which as a Blizzard fan, it absolutely is disgusting and depressing I, to see the company go downhill. I think the best case scenario we can see in that case wouldn't be Blizzard um leaving because just because I, I don't know what the exact terms of the contract but i would imagine it's severely severely stricter than what bungie had which is more of just a publishing versus being fully integrated into the uh company i but i would think the best situation would be and granted this would come at the cost of the ip would basically be all the older blizzard talents making a new studio and starting from scratch but, they have uh, already done that uh the director on wow for legion and battle for azeroth which were the last two expansions now owns another mmo studio and they're working under riot games they're I like making they a, a league of like, i think they're making a league of legends mm mmo now or working on it the second you said uh league of legends i was out I was going to say, isn't that just trading one <laughs> shitty abusive parent company for another shitty abusive parent yeah. company at that point? I mean, to be fair, Blaine, yes. the latter is far more explicitly sexist. That's true. At least they're honest about it, I guess. Yeah, they don't try to hide it. 